Our entire community embraces this week and we make sure to roll out the red carpet for our community. Grayling rolled out the red carpet for tourists and paddlers who are competing in the 68th annual Osabo River Canoe Marathon. More than 60 paddler teams start from Grayling late Saturday and paddle throughout the night, finishing up in Oscoda 120 miles down the Osabo River later. It's a huge thing to the community. It's the biggest week by far that we have all year. It's a huge spectator sport. It's the hardest spectator sport in the world. Walk up and down our downtown streets and shop and eat in our local eateries and they get to see what a great quaint little town we have and what a friendly town we have. The marathon brings in more than 10,000 visitors from around the world that shop at local businesses and grab a bite to eat at those local eateries. It's very important to our business. Um, this is the time where we get to see a lot of friends. Um, we're very good friends with a lot of paddlers. The economic impact is huge. We have just our vendors alone. We bring in about 120 vendors between food vendors and crafters. For Mike and Rebecca Davis, this event is priceless. They first met at this event six years ago, fell in love, and are now married, competing in their second year together. Us and all of her family, and my family too. It's how we spend all our weekends in the summer. Both my parents actually met canoe racing. They, uh, did Olympic sprint kayak. Um, so my mom, my dad, all my aunts and uncles. One of my uncles won a couple gold medals in uh, 1988. So <laughs> we've been around for a while. Um, but it all started marathon canoe racing like this. It's one of the coolest communities to be in for a paddler. Um, it's incredibly supportive. They really care about the race. They care about the river. So it, that's not something you see everywhere. And it, it's really special. Last year, the couple finished ninth overall and first in the mixed division. They hope to win back-to-back -back titles this year. In Crawford County, Chalapastora, ABC 29 and 8.